So when you're co-facilitating on Zoom, there might be the chance that one person wants to share their slides, go through the presentation, and the other person who might be the tech host or co-host wants to play some music in certain parts of the presentation, or maybe it's as people are coming back from the breakout room, but you still want to see the slides. And so far, this is the way you share music on Zoom, which is, uh, let me pull up Zoom real quick. Um, da, 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 here we go. Um, so in Zoom, if you click the share screen button uh, and then go to the advanced tab, there is this option to share music or computer sound only. And this works great if all you need to do is share music. Uh, then the second version, a uh, second option is if you are sharing, let's say your slides or uh, your desktop, you could click this little button on the bottom left that says share computer sound. So that way now you're sharing your presentation and your computer sound. But if you, uh, if your partner, your other facilitator wants to share their slides and you want to share music, you can't do both at the same time within Zoom. So there is a little workaround and I wanted to record this little video today to show you how I do it. Um, because what I'm doing is I'm creating a virtual microphone that um, I'm using with the software called Loopback and then use that in Zoom. So first step for this is um, you need to download a little app called Loopback that right now only exists for Mac. I know there's some other alternatives as well out there that some of them are even free. Loopback has a small price. I'm not sure how much it is, but I use it a lot and it was worth the investment for me. So if you're in Loopback, this is what it looks like, um, like what you already see, uh, you already see that I have set up a few things, but uh, we're all, we're going to start creating a new virtual device. So if you're new to this, you might not have this better mic, Ecamm virtual mic, virtual mic mix. You won't have those options on your screen. What you will do is click new virtual device and you can call this, for example, your virtual microphone. Um, plus Spotify. Let's say your uh, goal is to have your voice still come through your microphone, but you're also going to share music this time through Spotify. If you're using iTunes, if you're using YouTube, it would work very similar. So the first step is a uh, pass through, which means this is just using your mic that is coming in and putting it back out. The second thing that we're going to add in terms of sources is the app that is running the music. So I love using Spotify. This is where I have all my playlists. Um, so if you click Spotify to add here, then this will be added. And now this is pretty much all that we need to do. This is already working right now. Um, so we got our Spotify for music. Um, and we got pass through for our microphone and it all is going out through two channels. And then we just have to look for the virtual microphone plus Spotify in Zoom. So let's switch over to Zoom. And in here, if you click the little arrow next to the microphone, this is where you can select your different microphones. So as you can see right now, I can select the virtual microphone plus Spotify. And if I unmute myself or were to unmute myself right now, this would still play my voice. I could use it as a regular microphone, but whenever I play something on Spotify on my computer, it would also play through my mic. So as long as I am unmuted, my uh, facilitating partner, the other host could share their presentation and I just hit play in Spotify and music will play uh, through through the speakers on participants' ends. Um, the one thing to keep in mind is for better quality, you should turn on your original sound. And this is not something that happens by default. Um, also, you want to make sure that you wear some kind of um, earbuds or, or headphones for best quality. So there is no noise, uh, no kind of feedback happening with your voice. 
And lastly, you really, really want to do a test with this. Um, and the way I did it in the beginning, I basically would create my own Zoom event. I would join from another device, plug my headphones into the other device to listen how it sounds. So it will take some time for you to figure out the right settings, the right volume settings, especially for playing music. So it's not overpowering. You can still hear um, other people. And um, the other thing to keep in mind is that sometimes Zoom doesn't really want several people to share their sound. So it will kind of lower the volume of one person if the other one is too loud. So again, do a test with this until you figure out the kind of little details. But this is a software called Loopback that I use to do this. Um, I do a couple of other things with it as well to play different sound effects, like for example, this one. So uh, that would hopefully come through on your end as well. So I can use these little sound effects in my Zoom events. So um, this is how you do it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And uh, hopefully this will improve your co-hosting experiences on Zoom.